Neutralization, which is one of the three subtypes of the double replacement reaction, is noted by the formation of water. So you have water on the product side. So this is H2O with the physical state L. So water is a neutral solution. This is why it's called a neutralization reaction. So the definition of a neutral solution is that there's an equal concentration of the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion, which should make some sense because when you take the water molecule, it originated from one hydrogen ion and one hydroxide ion. So when you split the water molecule, it will split into one hydrogen and one hydroxide. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So for water and only water, the concentration of, remember brackets mean concentration, the concentration of hydrogen ions is exactly equal to the concentration of hydroxide ions. And this is only true for pure water. So we have solutions that are neutral, that is when you have pure water. And this is the pH scale from pH values of zero to 14, where between zero and seven, so less than seven, and uh, this can include negative pH values, but everyday solutions go to zero. We have acids or acidic solutions. Acidic solutions have a low pH value. So this is between zero and seven for most solutions. That's considered low pH. This is compared to high pH values, which are seven to 14, but can go above 14, but for everyday solutions are seven to 14. Acids have a low pH and a lot of hydrogen ions and a little bit of hydroxide ion. That should make some sense because acids have hydrogens. Bases are alkali solutions. Our basic solutions have a lot of hydroxide ions and a little bit of hydrogen ion, which should make some sense because bases have hydroxide, either produce hydroxide in water or directly have hydroxide as part of the ionic compound. So this is a simple relationship between hydrogen ion concentration and hydroxide ion concentration. It's called the ion product constant of water, which is this value, 1 times 10 to the minus 14, or just 10 to the minus 14. When you multiply the concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide, those two together always equal 10 to the minus 14. So what this means is you can use this equation to calculate one concentration. If you know the hydrogen concentration, you can calculate the hydroxide. If you know the hydroxide concentration, then you can calculate the hydrogen. So this is the superscript is that exponent. And when you have powers of 10, when you are multiplying powers of 10, you add the exponent. So that the concentration values uh, for hydrogen and hydroxide, when they're given in powers of 10, like 10 to the minus 7, should be 10 to the minus 7 for this, because minus 7 minus 7 has to equal 10 to this minus 14, adding the exponents when you're multiplying powers of 10. So pH values are used to describe neutral, acidic, and basic solutions. So basic solutions were also alkaline or alkali solutions. And so the pH is at exactly equal to 7, has exactly equal hydrogen to hydroxide concentration. And the low pH values, where the pH is less than 7, has more hydrogen than hydroxide. And the high pH values, where pH is greater than 7, has more hydroxide than hydrogen. The exact definition of pH value is it's a measure of the concentration of the hydrogen ions. The P actually stands for power. So it's a power of 10. This H stands for hydrogen ions. And so this is a uh, expression that you could use if you had a calculator with a logarithm button. We won't be using any of those. But we will use pH values that are whole numbers and in that, you don't need the logarithm button. You just need this relationship. For a pH 3 solution, what this means is this 3, the whole number pH value, becomes the exponent 3, or 10 to the minus 3, is the concentration in molarity of the hydrogen ion in this solution. Okay. So what pH values are is they're a logarithmic base scale, which is uh, increasing 10 for every change in 1 for the pH. So one change of pH unit. So let's say pH 5 to 6 represents a power of 10 change in the hydrogen ion concentration. So 5 to 6 is a difference of 10 
times in the hydrogen ion. So here, a solution of pH 2 has, uh, compared to pH 3, has 10 times more than a solution of pH 3 when we're talking about the hydrogen ion. So it's important to remember as you go down in pH, there are more hydrogen ions, or up in pH, there's less hydrogen ion. So this is the everyday pHs that are encountered from 0 to 14, showing the pH values on the, the whole number, so 1 through 14. And then the hydrogen ion concentration are just taking that pH whole number value, and that becomes the exponent. So 10 to the minus 1 is pH 1, and that's the concentration of hydrogen. Or pH 2 is 10 to the minus 2 molarity concentration of hydrogen, and so on. So these are the pH values when their whole number values become the exponent. Uh, the, this is in molarity, the concentration of hydrogen ion. pH value is increasing by a, a magnitude of 1. The hydrogen ion concentration changes by a magnitude of 10. So increasing pH means that these are increasing values of pH. And over here means that there's less hydrogen ion. So as you increase the pH, you have less hydrogen ion and more hydroxide. Or if you go this direction on the pH scale from 14 down to 1, decreasing the pH means you're increasing the hydrogen ion or decreasing the hydroxide ion. So the pH units increase on a linear scale. And meanwhile, there's the inverse relationship where the hydrogen ion is um, decreasing on the logarithmic scale. So this is a jump of 10, 10, 10, or moving the decimal one each one place each time, which is a power of 10. This pH scale shows values, pH values of these common solutions. And so we will start with looking at here, pH 7 we know is pure water. So that's because the hydrogen and hydroxide is exactly equal. And there are solutions that are very similar to but not exactly equal to pure water. Just below pure water is milk, and so this is an acidic solution, slightly acidic because it's less than seven. And so this is uh, because there's some acid in milk, uh, lactic acid in milk, and then blood, which is mostly water as well. Well, this is just on the other side of seven, so blood is slightly basic. And um, this is because blood actually has some buffers in it that are additional ions dissolved in blood that allow us to absorb any acid that's produced in our body. So we want it to be on the slightly basic side. Um, what's going on with the compounds in blood is exactly the same as the compounds in seawater, which is also not only water. So there's other things dissolved in blood and seawater that allow for it to be slightly basic, which is higher than seven. So these are bases, all of these on the side are bases, so household ammonia we talked about earlier. And um, all of these less than seven are all acids. So in general, acids taste sour. So stomach acid, lemon, soda, those are sour flavors. And in general, bases taste bitter.